Now. Wait, uh, wait, the wind away. Come on. Wait, the wind away. I don't know. Or Thank you for coming all this way. I take it you've been cooperating with the Pact Bears of Sloth and Gluttony, correct? Yeah. Oh, not at all. I was only seeking confirmation. You are a packed bear too, after all. But don't forget, all of the packed bear's ideals must be shattered in order to resolve the anomalies in the academy, including yours. I truly am sorry for pushing Mine. this onto you, but it's for everyone's sake, Miss Aikawa's especially. Mine. Your mission, your fate. Bear them both as best you can. Wow. The mist has dissipated from the Academy's most pressing locations, thanks in no small part to the TSC. Hey, boy. According to Shinya, the only areas it remains are the library, the archives, and the old dormitory. The mist at the old dormitory is most likely related to the Pact Bearer of Greed. Aside from you, there are three Pact Bearers remaining. But the one whose anomalies we were first aware of is the Pact Bearer of Greed. Me. I don't know the specifics, but their authority seems to be more capable of distorting the world than any other. I ask that you prioritize that one first. Ah, bro. I'm done. I'm told then. Well, there you go. Where are we going? She means the building in the back of the memorial garden. What? Memorial garden? Memorial forest, more like. But yeah, I know the building you're talking about. I remember seeing it a few times when I was wandering around. 
The old dormitory was closed off eight years ago. Though the garden is open to a few select clubs. The mist generally surfaces in areas around where an authority is used. It is a bit peculiar for there to be mist in such a remote location. I understand how you feel, but I saw it with my own eyes. The mist there is way worse than it was at the main building, the second year building, or any other place we've seen it. That pack bearer's authority distorts the world more than any other. It's the first one that appeared when all of this started. I wonder what kind of power they have. Be careful out there, okay? Hmm. Don't you worry. I can go with him. My schedule's all cleared up now. <laughs> he doesn't need your help. One hmm. pack bear is enough as is. Sora asked me to help him, so I'll be the one going along. Why are you... Vice President, I finished dealing with the aftermath of all the incidents in the other buildings. I'd like Fine. to help you out, if you'll let me. I Fine. want to lessen your burden however I can. Fine. I would like to assist as well. I have managed to okay, scare the mountain okay, of work okay. the TSC foisted upon me. Fine. This is the strongest pact bearer yet. I fear for your well-being. You're important to me, after all. Would putting it that way be enough to convince you? Kokoro. Frivolity aside. Huh. I do not wish for anything to harm you. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Metaphorically, that is. Thank you, everyone. I really appreciate all of you being there for my brother. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Hope, sloth, gluttony, faith. Four ends assembled at Vanity's Gate. The road now diverges. A fork in the road. Take care, for the line can no longer be towed. How are you? Vanitas? Your every word I have taken heed. You plan to fight the Pact Bearer of Greed. No authority truly outstrips all the rest. Even so, this will still prove a difficult test. Do you know what powers they have, Mr. Bunny? Well, naturally, of course I do. But surely, you don't expect me to tell you. There's a limit to how much I can interfere. Plus, it's more entertaining to be cavalier. So in other words, you're not going to help. <laughs> Be well prepared if you hope to live. That is all the advice that I can give. Wow. You've a great many friends, and I'm sure it's much fun. But bear in mind that you can only take one. Roaming the mist with a large coterie can end up tremendously risky, you see. Shinya, you and the Vice President make a good pair. You think so? The mere sight of you together is picturesque. Your dainty classical beauties are reminiscent okay. of fine art. Uh-huh. Um, good looking out. Hey, do you have time to chat? Why? Don't put yourself in too much. Oh. 
You will be safe. No. I'll try to. No. <laughs> Only so many pact bearers yet remain. Just look what your ego has come to attain. You used to be empty, just filler and fluff. But don't get to thinking it's nearly enough. Before you take on the pact bearer of greed, I'll grant one last chance to revise your creed. Desires are what shape your... How would you feel if your darling pet cat chose somebody else? Question two. Two of you. Question three. Question oh, no. four. Question five. Question six. Oh, would no. you get angry? Question seven. You're in your first map. Question eight. At your front. Question nine. Which question ten? Would you call your question eleven? Question twelve. Question 13. If a teacher was scolding your friend, question 14, question 15, question 16, question 17, question 18, question 19, question 20, question 21, question 22, question 23, question 20, question 25, question 20, question 27, question 28. Question 29, question 30, question 31. Your best friend is solely to whom you confide, an embarrassing secret you're trying to hide. What do you do when the whole class finds out, which your friend claims to know nothing about? <laughs> it seems your desires are still rather faint. You've limited them under much self-restraint. Your ego is formed by confronting desire. Perhaps letting loose more will help fan that fire. Have you noticed that some of the questions composed had no desires in the way they were posed? The questions in question were intended to scope your spiritual kinship with faith, love, and hope. Desires can make one feel greatly empowered but so too can one become wholly devoured. Should you use them to bolster your faith and your hope, they can turn out quite useful and broaden your scope. But be it for yourself or a person or thing, a hope without love will do nothing but sting. Your hope, faith, and love are exceedingly low. You hold nothing dear and you live as you go. At times, it may seem that you seek your own ruin. Though indulging in pleasure is only human. When you do have something to cherish, keep your desires at bay, lest it perish. Of these seven cards, pick one to pursue, and I will increase that desire for you.
Huh. Didn't even know there was an entrance here. I've been in the memorial garden before, but I, uh, came in through the bushes instead. Hmm. Looks like the mist inside is pretty thick. Try not to get lost, Mr. VP. This place, too, is linked to the depths. This oh. number connects to the singularity. Where's my thanks for all my charity? Oh, whoa, whoa. It's not every day someone outside of the astronomy club shows up here. Camping's great, isn't it? Nothing's better than a fresh pot of rice over a roaring campfire. I can't wait. Did you come here to look at the stars too? Yeah. Shh! Be quiet! Right? Oh. Whoa. No need to get so worked up. I just got here. I'm still normal. I think. You're investigating the mist, right? Does that mean you're headed to the old dormitory? I've got the key to the main gate. Hear me out for a bit, and I'll give it to you. Have you ever had the sudden feeling that someone you could have sworn was always there just vanished? Or like that their existence was covered up by something else, maybe? I have. I feel that way right now, in fact. That's the whole reason I came here. There's a memorial there inscribed with the names of some students who died in an accident. Can you take a look at it? One of the names is impossible to make out. I want you to find out who it is for me. I can't remember, but I think it's someone I know. A classmate, maybe. I'd call it just a hunch, but something tells me it's more than that. Please, you've got to figure out who they are. I could have sworn someone was there. I could have sworn someone was there. Why was the name scratched off? I could have sworn someone was there. Someone was there. The last 
name on the moon. Did you find out? I see. Let me know if you find out. Why was the name scratched off? Why are my memories so hazy? I could have sworn someone was there. I could have sworn someone was there. Why was the name scratched off? Care of yourself. <laughs> what the hell? You gotta be kidding me! Not every day someone outside of the Astronomy Club shows up here. Now where could you be hiding? I could have sworn someone was there. The last name on the memorial. I think it's one of my classmates. Did you find out who it was? Takamori 
Suzuki. Yeah. That's right. He died in a traffic accident. I sat next to him in class. We got along pretty well. He was the first guy I... <sighs> How could I forget him? Was it because of the mist? Thank you for reminding me about him. Here's the key to the main gate, like I promised. Mm -hmm. I could have sworn someone was there. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come. It's not every day someone outside of the astronomy club shows up here. <laughs> This ain't the ugliest thing I ever saw. Kinda reminds me of a sedimentary rock. Actually, those are made up of a bunch of tinier rocks, so I guess it's not the same. It's like it used to be a big old boulder, but now it's just falling apart. How'd it end up like this? I can't say I'm not curious, being a pack bear myself. Looks like we won't have the time to mull it over though, huh? Still, the pack bear will show up once we shatter enough ideals. Then we can just beat the answers out of them. Hey, 
it is done. I'll take it all. Get ready. Ha! Fruitless. Ha! Hard pass. How disappointing. You're good at this, Ryotaro. Just another step up the ladder. Suffering, pain, lives are stolen, lives are forgotten. Why must they suffer? Why must they be in pain? Why do they have to be stolen and forgotten? The suffering from the past doesn't go away. The fact that they were hurt survives them. Lives stolen never return. Lives lost are never recovered. If it's just the way of the world, if it's just a matter of course, then for what reason do we suffer? For what reason must we grieve? For what reason do we desire? Everything that should have been was stolen. Everything that could have been was lost. The world is unjust, uncaring, and insane. In this twisted, irrational world, if I am allowed to desire, if I am allowed to want, no. If I am driven to desire and want, I should be allowed to wish. To have my wishes fulfilled. To wish for a happy past. For a complete and flawless reality. For a life of peace and tranquility. For a life where you are still here. The world is unjust. Uncaring and insane. Therefore, Fulfilling an insane wish and distorting the world to grant it is a small price to pay to regain everything I've lost. The world was unjust and insane long before I got here after all. desires to take back what had been lost, paired with a will that justifies itself at any cost. This ideal is fading. It's liable to break. And yet, there is one guarantee I can make. Among the pact bearers who have yet to fall, this one is, without doubt, the strongest of all. Oh. 
Hey, Kokoro. You're a bookworm, right? How did you know? One. Well, just call it a hunch. She got some the next. What kind of books do you like to read? I am not picky about genre. What? I read everything. Literature, web novels, mysteries, science fiction, philosophy, history, how-to books. It doesn't matter whether they're short or long. They are no match for me. Whoa! You really do love books! Is there a reason why? No. A reason? My mother used to praise me for every book I completed. That is why I read so many. Aww. That actually sounds kinda sweet. Uh. See you guys on the next Monarch.